Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist, a munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with the munchkin terrorist in my store? Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Yowzers, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Really? I have to put up with this fucking shit? I have to put up with this shit? Okay, if I do this, I still have to put up with Which is wonderful. Oh. Wait. Which is wonderful. Great! Oh. Great! We did it! We fixed it! We fixed the audio issues. Finally! We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Finally. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? Finally. What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the... I accept your thinly... Oh, it's just... Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah. It's the latest and guaranteed. I feel really close. We got your tear gas. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. No, what's it do? The 10,000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's OK, everybody. I'm all right. I'm very happy right now. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? That sounds great. Caramel sugar logs. Fantastic. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh 
Uh-oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. This is like my favorite. You really love someone. One of my favorite puzzles in the game. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on it's his face. It's so simple, when he gets but it. so funny. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> Oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... I like this. <laughs> What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-loading weekly? Oh, let me see that! I don't know, it's funny to me. There's just, you can, there's so much funny shit in this game. Uh... It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Rug. I know, I know. You know, I'm just... There we go. It's therapy. You know, I probably do need therapy considering all the shit that goes off in my head, but you know. I, I, I don't know. They don't really... Got with my record. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot to do something important. Whatever, we'll just... Mess with the phone, I guess. Hello, Mr. Pizza? Send over another gargantuan anchovy and hot sauce special, please. Hello, is this the president? It is? Really? Well, uh, thanks. That's all I wanted to know. You've been blocked. But... Hello, Max? Yes? Just checking. You see, this game is bizarre and weird, and I love it. Hello, Mr. Pizza? Yeah, okay. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Alright, actually. Oh yeah, you can turn on the TV. On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Specs was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper who never missed a spot. Backstage though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Specs' obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co-workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, you made me mess up made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown <laughs> utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam. Put it back. Yeah, you can't actually there, take it. Fixed it. You can't take it till later on. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. That's good. Wait. 
uh, I guess it is possible now that we might get the same max season four, which would be great. I would really like to see a fourth season, but like honestly, I'm real. I'm kind of bummed about Wolf, Wolf Two going away. I like Wolf One a lot, and I kind of did want a season two. I don't get why they had to do Minecraft story mode. Like, seriously, that game was just... I don't know. I made fun of it a lot. And, you know, and now it's go being a Netflix thing, and that's, like, their final thing, as well as... I don't know, everyone's claiming they're not gonna finish Walking Dead. They haven't said anything about that. A bunch of fucking game websites have, but... They aren't Telltale. So I'm not really listening to them. This? I love this country. That's just me. I'm an idiot, so you surely should have listened to me. me. Mess up. I don't know. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Better, better. Uh, hey, that's well, pretty good when you like. Long enough. Nine Maybe years before it became second. a meme. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Wait, can I still spray paint over top of it to make him angry? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. <laughs> yes. I, wrote, I had to write some poetry for one of my classes. Since kicking a man on his down. It was, it was fun for the most part. I enjoyed that class a lot. Oh, it was creative writing, which is one of the best classes, in my opinion, in the world, because I like writing. I've written a ton of shit that are going to become videos eventually, hopefully. I think I wrote a Sam and Max review, I don't know, I at least thought of one. I wrote reviews, I was an idiot, and thought it was fun. Huh, Welcome. jumping in you the closet. Like you could use some therapy, not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Me? Right, your uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic! But it says Peepers on your name tag! Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Alright, wait, actually, there's one hey, Peepers I love. Civil! Right. Are you sure your name is Civil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! That's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. It would have been really funny. If How about a little analysis? If he ended up being, if they ended up being Sybil, it would have been a funny idea, but no. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step, your eyes too. Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. What's Hybro exactly? So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Enough said. 
Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Fuck, you asshole. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> Please, Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Yes. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh, my. That was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> Y'all, I think we're good. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. All right, and then... That's the second least relaxing sign I've ever seen. I love that little detail. That's... There's just so many good little details. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! We've already taken care of it. He's out like a candle at the bottom of a fish pond. Say, that's perfect, because I think he was hypnotized by someone, and now I can do something about it. Wow, hypnotized? Really? Can we make him act like a chicken? What's the usual procedure when someone's been hypnotized? Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Come again? You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Then you can help them overcome the hypnosis. Allow me to demonstrate. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha! I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal! But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear! <laughs> hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking That's care not of Doc. That. Wacko. I wish there was some way I could be paid. Of course. That's a telltale joke. Can you fix cars. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student. I can ride it around like a pony. It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm. Security. Max might like a tattoo. Oh, yeah. I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try, which we could try. 
How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you did. Or, uh, take a look at this, and tell me what you see. All right, I do need. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. You have and to this? choose all the uh, like things related to stardom. An autograph written in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an upset. You might want to work on that. Thanks, Doc. All right, now you actually have to do that for later on. Can you really learn anything? Oh, absolutely. Yowch. Now just relax. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's got to be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful. Tell me, in your dream, was I... You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup. I went through three weeks of labor for you. Wow, it is your mother. I was right, as I usually am. And then this is the fucked up part. This is necessary. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from... Oh, sounds like... Yet. It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, let me just say, I hope you two will be very happy together. Uh, thanks. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you met? I don't know. Interesting. I noticed something was. Yes, we were closet. hidden video camera hmm I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism nope I'm proud I noticed something bizarre ah a whole stack of lottery tickets interesting perhaps you feel you don't don't worry lady I noticed something ah a parking meter a parking meter why would you well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we have... I noticed some... As a matter of fact... Totally shameless. I noticed something weird. Mm. It was that staple office knickknack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. <laughs> well. I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end? Yep, then I woke up. I can see why. What's free is... It's a test of your react First thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba? Hmm. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes...
Do you think this would work better if I lie down? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Trigger word apparently inducing sleepiness. Comb. What do you think of... Seems like... Hmm. Hey, I'm not... If you say so. Well, this... What's... The... I'll let you know. Anything to... Some... We can always... Just so they're... No. No, I did Let's it wrong. That... Remember. Ready? Sure, go ahead. How? What do you think of this? Seems like a crack of wind. Hmm. Dial. Hey, I'm not a. If you say so. How about this word? What do you think of. Seems. Hmm. Dial. Hey. If you say so. Dryer. Just do or say whatever. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! <laughs> You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to... Well, this has... Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't... Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more... Remember, I'll... Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Can I sit in a tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of euphoric dyspepsia. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Max almost lost. Yeah, but it Trigger word induces teasing. Relax. Who says I'm not relaxed? Oh, right, we're freely associating. Sorry. Well, this is... Am I sane? The jury's... Come on, no, it's not right. Association. Remember, ready? Ready is a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> what the fuck is that word? Promenade. Interesting. Polish. Sample size. I see. Shampoo. Just do or say whatever comes. Whoa, don't shoot. Violent reaction. Violent reaction. You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction. Well, this has. Am I sane? The jury's. Actually, let's save the psycho. Hmm. Postpone. All right. Whee! <clears throat> uh, is it working? I don't know. Snap! What? Well, what's going? He's back. Quick! Act like a chicken. No. Tell us where we can find Brady Colton from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the other episodes they made it that you could run. I don't know, everyone like started complaining. I got people complain about how they like use the same tool or the same game. Oh, I don't know. Whee! Take control of your mind. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, I don't know. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Yes. You made me mess up. 
Sorry, Sam. He's getting away. Time out for number one. Wait, what? Excuse me. Is. This music's fucking weird, but it fits Sam Max. So. Come on. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly can... Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can fu- Just look in any fucking building, man. Whee! Hmm, it says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, Violent reactions to dentistry and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Wait, why? You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Why? Where are we going, Sam? D is it different each time? Back Holy to shit. No, I remember for me, when I first played it, it was like... It was reacting to things being fame. Uh, violent reaction to haircuts and obsession to marry one's mother. That's what it was supposed to be. Oh shit, I didn't know it was different each time. Do you think I might? Hmm. Symptoms and obsession, violent re and an unconscious. Hey, I know. I could. S Can we do some more? Shoot, All right, take a look at this one's gonna be the money. Pennies on the eyes of a dead. Interesting. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? What the fuck was that noise? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? A 
debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with That's money. a symptom of artificial personality disorder. Uh, I'd better mark I, it I on your know. chart. Very interesting. Whatever you say. I'm not a sawbones. I'm a tomato, tomato. Let's try some more freeze. That will tell us more about. Remember, all. Ready? Yep. Credo. The fuck is Credo? Calorie consciousness. What an unusual filling. Just do or say. Filling? Dentistry? Blow brains out. Me no like dentist. Me not like actually I think about that. When I got feelings I got feelings when I was younger, I ended up getting just do or say whatever comes next. And whenever I did Do you think this would work better if I lie down? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Well, this has been Yes. Your responses lead me to believe that you have a diatrist. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on. No, okay, just so it, just because I know someone's gonna get fucking angry. You no, I don't hate dentists. You have symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to tell you about another Monday. All right. Okay, tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else. Oh. It was Max. Ah, uh, yes, your imag- Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max- Well, he was saying- I pledge allegiance to my gun, do da do da I well, pledge- that's, that's not unusual. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do da do da day. I pledge allegiance- I have just gotten something new from the- For a cell- a birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you, sir. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of art. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former childs. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. <laughs> no, that's not like Sam, like, his classic whenever he says something like, something like that. No, he's literally saying what would happen if he fucking let him drive. I feel like Max, Sam, Max drive. You, you don't let Max drive, like, ever. That's just a bad idea. Max is a psychopath. One second, we should put the videotape in. Okay, Max, ready for that now like workout? Sam, no, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Popular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Tucci. Oh, shit. I, think I like him better this way. We've got to find this. <laughs> I got back when I got back. He hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. The funny thing is, uh, well. This game's like 10 years old, I think I can say what happens is they actually do get his hair and they like put it in their closet and each episode for each game there's like something new in the closet like from the previous episode even except for in season 3. 
Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for fun. Okay, we're still getting stars. audio, which is good. Oh, okay. The form only fits in the slot. Excuse me, what the fuck? Wait, what happens if I try to go to this door? This one's very locked. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. <sighs> this reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? <laughs> Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor Well, the soda poppers are evil. Worshipful fans forever. In fact, I'm pretty oh, sure they were in charge of hell for a bit. Over? That's not even like a joke. So, so is Brady oh. Culture evil? Oops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become... Video delivery man. <laughs> toys, toys, toys. What? What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I. You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Ah! I must deliver video. I must. I must. Come on. I must. I must. I must. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too far. Oh, don't even try it. I love that part. Looks like he's falling now. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become 
video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brandy stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? <laughs> no! Oh, that Brady culture. I wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh, yes, that's much better. Don't worry, little buddy. Hurry, sir! Brady stolen Max. Oh. Hey, don't touch my. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Brady stole. <laughs> Just let me at him. It's just a dream, Sam. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. It's not fat. He's big. Weird. I will be number one in the ratings. Now. At hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. <laughs> and another one bites the cheese. What the? They just Infinity Ward. They Infinity Ward away. Coat hanger? Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put. You have no. I feel like I need you as the coat hanger on this person. That doesn't even work. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Strange. I will be universally loved by everyone. I think I've done enough. Okay, hold on. Brady Cult. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! Mr. Culture. I have a max server head you. now, guys. Really? It's a TF2 item. For me? It's a TF2 item. No! <laughs> oh my. <coughs> uh, 
Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. My guy, he, he didn't feel so good. Oh, uh. Oh, no. He's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay. But what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. A hypnosis blocker? I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something. Quick. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture? Ibo man, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my free little pal. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Okay. I think I gotta get the coat hanger. Oh shit, the graffiti's gone. I never noticed that before. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've gotta tell him as soon as possible. I think we go to Sipple. But I'm probably wrong. Doc, Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Well, I'll just go to Bosco, since Bosco probably fucking made this shit. No, I remember I was looking, I was at like a movie theater or something, and they had like a pizza you could get there, and it was called Bosco's Pizza. And I remember, I don't remember if it was me or my brother, but one of us said it was the most inconvenient pizza. It was Bosco's. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious in clicking, because in the later games, you can actually go faster. Hell, in later Tall Hill games, you can just use W, A, S, and D. But, uh, you know. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it, a death threat? Even better, it's instructions for the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. Mm, let's see a calendar for that, yeah. Yeah, I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna, got it. Oh man, it's almost as if I knew I needed this. 
Will a make do antenna do as a make do right. antenna? Yeah, okay. okay. Let me just add a little Bosco Tech innovation. And here it is, the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, seems like the old Moolah days is running on empty. I take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dimension, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Oh, shit. No, no. No. We gotta go save Max. He's our little buddy. I'm coming, Max. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna stream every episode of this. I know damn well I'm not gonna be able to do it tonight. But I do intend on streaming certain Telltale games. Rule number three, devices. Like, I, I, the very big ones. I don't know if I'll stream every episode of this. I might stream the second episode tonight. I don't know yet. It's almost midnight, and I'm about. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you! And this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ow! Attack Brady Culture. No! Ow! Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotape. What nonsense. Attack. You okay, little buddy? <clears throat> I'm sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory high cool poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ. Nice hat, by the way. It protects me from that ray of his. Speaking of which, I don't see you delivering videotapes. Yeah, apparently I can't be hypnotized. It was driving the phantom here, Berserk. There's got to be something wrong with his brain. Well, that goes without saying. You may as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thingamadoodle won't work on me anymore. True. But I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut up! They do so! Worship me! No, me, me! Worship me! You're me! Attack me! No, me! Attack me! Me, me, me! Yes! Oops! No, wait! I mean... Oh. Hey, hey! Smart move, Ooh. Sam! Ooh. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel! I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. 
Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Oh! Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. I'm pretty sure the hypnosis... The hypnosis... I'm pretty sure hypnosis is like an overarching thing. But you know. And that's the first episode. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone's... Oh. Oh. Rest in peace. I didn't know that was there. That's pretty sad. But now, uh... Yes, I want to quit. So now, guys... I have to install episode 2. Which will take... I'm sorry. But I'm afraid you have to wait. 1 minute and 33 seconds. I know it's a long time. Oh, well, apparently it's fucking cute, because TF2 feels like it needs to download a fucking update. Alright, so it should take, you know, it'll, it's gonna take like a minute. We gotta download it, uh, it won't take that long, um, I don't know if we'll finish the episode tonight, I don't know the second episode as much as I know the first one. First one, like, I know it took me, like, it took me two hours, but usually it's a lot faster than that. I don't know, I've only played through it a few times, but I know, like, that level front and back, I've done that first section countless times, I... I've only beaten it a handful of times because I end up getting bored or I end up having my fucking hard drive fail. Shit like that, you know. But no, overnight tonight, I think I might download... I don't know if I'm going to do the second season. I know for sure I'm going to do this third season. Every episode of the third season, I want to stream. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to do this for a bit. Uh, you know, maybe next weekend we will honor Telltale as well. No idea. Yeah. But, uh, even if people don't watch, whatever, I'm still happy, because, well, I'm not happy, I'm sad. I want to honor Telltale, and I love Telltale, I love a, a bunch of shit they've done. They've just, they're a good company, in my opinion.
Alright, and now we go. Situation. Um, Alright, my heater's doing a great job right now, so I'm gonna, doing too good a job. I'm gonna fucking turn it off. They ended up reusing this uh, for uh, a really good, uh, I guess, machinima. For lack of a better word. Wait, okay. Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy facts, droging and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I yeah, they changed the fucking voice right actors right right between episodes one and two. But I think it's so much better in this. Life. I think the voice acting is so much better in the second episode. Not that the first episode had a bad voice acting, it's just a lot better in this one. And it's very bizarre for a game to switch voice acting in the middle of the game. Like, Hunt Down the Freeman kind of had that. I, I haven't played it, but I know about it. Uh, it's kind of a joke, and I may or may not have purchased it for my one of my best friends. Uh, it was not. It was totally for me purpose. No, what are you doing, Sam? Go to the car! Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. WARP. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of- Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! But a fool. Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next? Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? 
You and Myra. Why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less? If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, my little hand. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago, and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we could pass one lousy audition, sitcom... Rocketing to fame for the most... We'd like to apply for that instance. You wanna... All right! I'm going to have you play a scene from old... I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you... Yes! Boy! And Sam, you play the... Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now! Um... Grr. No! Dig deep! Hmm... I don't know what went wrong. I would. You look pretty dis. Come back after you. Hey! Actors on. But we're. Po yeah. I Yeah. Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Yeah, I mean, Let's take. I'm incredibly focused. Cut. I don't know how I. You have to be. The ba Okay, I need. Triangle Times. It looks like they're sold off. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. Actually, no. Brady culture fucking died. It's actually Brady culture did die. What who? What the? You're probably wondering. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. <gasps> no, really. Thanks, Bosco. Pip, pip. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Pause up, pig. Dog. Pig dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. <laughs> Black. Fuggle. Blimey. Bollock. The little bladder did it again. After him, I mean. Tally ho. Hey, Bosco. The Lord. We got skin. Hey, Bosco. The law enforcement here in the states really is. We got. I kind of forgot about this episode. It's kind of. It's not bad, it's just that I just kind of forgot about it. Oh, what really annoys me is you can't go over here. You can go over there in the later episodes. Or not, like, not later episodes, but later seasonings. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin buddy can't be stopped! A 
after those rats. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to be completely honest. Still waiting for a fucking ramp to show up. Fuck. I don't know how long I've been driving on this side. Yeah. That was not what I was supposed to do. Hey, Sam! Give up the shaving cream, skin body! The skin buddy don't give it to nobody! <laughs> Tight, little buddy. Tommy. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody. That's more fun when somebody's watching. Hello again. Yes? Can we take a... Let's take a... Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. Okay, Max. You've just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Now, the faithful 
moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh oh. Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! Your heart. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. People, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid no talent fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboy, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs and not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with your classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Okay, now we're ready. Action! Oh. By the way, this is actually in the Wolf Among Us. Like this, like the. This was an Easter egg in the first episode of Wolf Among Us. Let there be. Open up! Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow. There we go. Aha! I know you got a. Well, 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 who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la <laughs> And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army, my army days. My God, we're on a Nickelodeon sitcom. How convenient! This way we can shoot. And if the show would explode. Best leave it turned off.
He said Camus, uncle. Except in French. Yes. I'm sorry. Cut! <sighs> Let's have enough. See if you can. All right. Open up in there. I know you're a Let there be how. Hey. Open up. There we go. This and I went to <laughs> He said moon goo guy pan. It's a French oh, super I'll... for heavens cut. <sighs> This is quite real. Like that animatronic. How do you do that? Tell a trade secret, honey. How do you keep it so clean in here? The complete absence of anything resembling food is helpful. Aren't there fruits or vegetables of any sort around here? Just the crew. Ha! I never get tired of that one. Okay, actually, no. We strive for realism, and the average bachelor kitchen doesn't contain any natural plant life except mold. What's the story? Cooking Without Looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. See ya. Probably. That's enough, Lark. Of course. I root. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. My God, it's crazy. Hi, Mom. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping oh at the bit, so say hello to oh our God. first contestant, oh Peepers. <laughs> Am I blue? Who are you? 
Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly like how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! <laughs> no, it was here when I... Ew. Can I look at these? Sure, take them! Very impressive. Now we... There's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are so This is on theme, right? It's so weird. Police. How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. Dazzle us. Okay, I'll show you the magic of Prisma. Okay, no, move. Uh, how? It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with. Ah, I know. Say, you bliss. Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He. Hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. Wait, what? So where's the picture, magic man? Oh my. I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> I challenge you to change. Okay. Do blue, Hugh. That's a blue. Actually, yeah. So. I too. <gasps> How do you know we came for my route? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> As the resident doubting Thomas of this crime fighting duo, I consider it my proven. Okay. Think of something. <laughs> Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of some... Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? 6,373,411.98. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. 
I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the 10 word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. 10 words, oh my. How about prismatology is the answer. Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's 10. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh blew hours ago and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teacher. Read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> Now, because you bliss is not the brightest. Yeah. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, 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 kids. All I'm emetics. Life troubling. Already got multicolored happiness. I need to do this. We've got a contestant! From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Really? Our You're Hugh Bliss? Are a wow. professional freelance police on running over things. Please welcome Sam. Listen, Sam. They Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one... Start loading the armored cars, Hugh. Because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless small Chilean village for decades. It's true! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! Oh, no. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Aw, oh, damn it, I knew the answer. I'm not sure, but I'll say false. That's not really a valid answer. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A couple. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and. Okay. Find out which. Hey, a perfect fit. Oh man, they're never gonna fucking notice that. We've got another Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is, am I blue? Yes, you, yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, 174, 175, 
999,999 and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning up. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Hello, sir. What? Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and... What the devil? Sir? Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Piss off! Piss off! Piss off! We want to buy something. Yeah. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps! I suppose I must accept them. Oh, the dash government conspiracy. It's hogwash! Complete cod's wallop! Here, then, is your chemical-based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works, trust me, trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. I'm trying to get tired and I might have I think I gotta get some sleep. Here's simple. Here's just this out of context picture of Hugh Bliss. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo was a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Available at newsstands now. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. I, I don't know. This is always one. Cats, liver and onions are still in town. Let's go see them again and again. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such... Remind me to refill your prescription. Remember our old car match? I said I was sorry.
We're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna save, and I think I'm gonna get to bed. I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh, good night, everybody. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, but I can't give a specific time. So that's it for tonight. Good night.